Hi guys, it's AsBoyT and welcome back to a brand new video. Now every time I do a review on an Android TV box or a streaming device, I get asked the same question. What's the best one? So that I don't have any problems with lags, freezes, glitches, crash outs, all of that sort of stuff on my streaming device. And there are many factors that will go into that and I'll get to that in a second. And every single time I answer that question, I will always say it depends on your budget. And if the response to that is, doesn't matter about budget, then I will always say the same thing, the Nvidia Shield. And today we're gonna to be discussing why. <laughs> Hi guys, like I said, welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm going to talk you through the reasons why, in my opinion, it is still the best compared to some of the other devices that are out there at this moment on the market. There is obviously a new updated version, which I haven't actually got my hands on at this moment in time. I probably will, and then I'll do an unboxing and review for you. They made it much more small. They made it much, much more smaller. They made it much smaller, much more portable, and they change a few different things here and there. But on, on the whole of it, it's pretty much very, very similar. So I can show you some comparisons between that and, of course, a few of the other pretty popular devices at this moment in time. So we have the Nvidia Shield, the Amazon Fire TV 2017 model, which at this moment in time is still superior to the Fire Stick, the newer version of the Fire Stick, and to some extent in terms of raw benchmarks, it is still better than the Fire TV dongle as well, the third gen Fire TV, and the Apple TV and Roku. Now on this list, we have what the Nvidia Shield is compatible with uh, compared to the other three devices. Now I'm not gonna go through the whole list and talk about all of them, I'm just gonna pick out the main ones and starting with the fact that the the actual voice assistant on the Nvidia Shield is the Google one, which is a very popular one. You can pair that with the Fire TV, you've of course got Alexa, which again is another pretty decent voice searching option. And then of course we jump onto the Apple TV, Siri, meh. Nah. Not for me. And then of course the Roku Ultra has nothing. Then we've got cast to your TV. Of course the Nvidia Shield comes with the ability to Chromecast and that's in 4K. But there's limited apps for the Fire TV and the Roku Ultra. And then of course there is AirPlay for the Apple TV. In terms of its compatibility with services, the Nvidia Shield is by far the best out of those four main players on the market at this moment in time. So we're talking Netflix, Amazon Video, YouTube, Google Play Movies and TV. It doesn't have iTunes Movie and TV. Obviously that's only available on the Apple TV. But, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, not many people use it. You can let me know below if you do and why it's so good for you. Of course, I'm not going to compare every single one within this entertainment section on the list, but you can see the Nvidia Shield is far superior in terms of its compatibility with most of the options available. Of course, Kodi straight from the Play Store available on the Nvidia Shield. It's not available from the Amazon Store. Of course, we know there are ways around it. There are probably about 17 million videos on YouTube telling you how to do that, which is, of course, is sideloading the Kodi app onto the Fire TV. It's not a jailbreak. If I see another video with that title and calm. Then of course you come down to the gaming section on this list and if you don't know, Nvidia Shield is also a console. You know, that is one of the biggest differences between it and the other streamers on the market. You can stream content on it brilliantly, but it's also a console and it's good for gaming. And we'll get to the specs and performance in a second, but this is just a little teaser. As you can see, it's compatible with a lot of different gaming setups as well. It is far superior again to the other devices in terms of linking up to sort of your Google smart home functions. And it's also compatible with the Samsung Samsung version as well as far as I'm aware I haven't tested it but that is what I'm led to believe now we're gonna to get to the actual specs of the device to sort of explain why potentially a lot of people find uh, it is far better performing than some of the others on the market and in terms of those specs the main difference between the shield Android TV and the shield Android TV Pro is the storage so on the normal standard version you only get 16 gigabytes of storage which is a little bit disappointing to be honest especially when it is still a very expensive product at even the standard one the pro version is of course 500 gigabytes of storage which is more than enough for all of the apps all of the games anything you want to put on it but of course that is more expensive it comes at a premium of course if you just wanted to opt for the 16 gigabytes version you can add additional storage as well but amazingly it doesn't come with a micro SD card slot I mean you have to actually use a USB in order to add the additional storage as opposed to the micro SD card, which you see in, in hundreds of different products available at this moment in time, even some as low as 30 pounds. So why they didn't include that on this Nvidia Shield standard, I don't know. But of course on the pro version, you do get a micro SD card slot. So they both run Android TV 7.0, which is the same as what you'll see on the Xiaomi Mi box and similar to what you'll see on a couple of the Miko boxes, which got released fairly recently, which I did a video review on here. 
I've got both of those here, which are a very cheap version of that sort of system. We also have three gigabytes of RAM on the Nvidia Shield, which is more than enough for streaming, really. I would potentially like to see a little bit more for gaming, but it's not essential. And obviously it still does a very, very good job. And there is a reason for that. And that is of course, due to the processor. Now with Android TV boxes that you will see and will have read about, the majority of them use either an Amlogic chipset or they'll use a Rock chip. S905, for example, or S912, and of course the 3328 and the 3399 are the two that are used in the main on those specific devices. However, the Nvidia Shield doesn't use the generic ones, it uses its own in-house processor, which of course is the Nvidia Tegra X1, or Tegra whatever you want to call it, 256 core Maxwell GPU, 4K, HDR and 60 frames a second. In terms of the audio output, we have Dolby Atmos and DTS-X surround sound over HDMI with a high resolution audio playback up to 24 bit, 192 kilohertz over HDMI. And this in-house Nvidia processor is the reason why the Nvidia Shield is classed as the best streaming device on the market because it is just an absolute powerhouse compared to the Amlogic and the Rock chip devices. And in numbers terms, if we look at some of the Antutu benchmark results of some of the other devices compared to the Nvidia Shield, you will notice that most of the other devices will come in as low as, for example, the old Fire Stick, the first gen Fire Stick. It's around 10,000 on that score. The newer one comes in around 25,000. The Fire TV dongle comes in at the 30 to 40,000. The Fire TV box, the second gen, comes in at around 80,000. Some of the very new Android TV boxes come in at around 90,000, but no one really breaks that 100,000 mark on the Antutu. And of course, the Nvidia Shield comes in at roughly around, depending on the individual benchmark, because they can vary slightly, it comes in at around 130,000. And that's on the old version of the Antutu benchmark score, which of course rank devices lower than the current Antutu version. Of course, these are the main reasons why this device will help with certain lags on menus, freezes, crashes on apps and games, etc. It is going to be one of the smoothest devices, one of the smoothest experiences you will have at period on a streaming sort of gaming device at this moment in time. If you have one or are due to buy one thinking that you're never ever going to get problems with streaming, for example, again, this is where this is quite a big misconception because like I said, it will help with menus and, and crashes and lags and things like that. In terms of streaming, if you're viewing your own content, for example, it's going to work absolutely flawlessly. If you are streaming from a third party source, it will still very much depend on traffic, you know, what sort of time of the day you're viewing, how many people are on the servers, the quality of the actual stream. So these are all things you need to actually work out in order to get a perfect stream. Will it be better than some of the other devices that you probably have at this moment in time? 100% yes. Will it be completely flawless so that you'll never have a problem again? 100% no. Is it gonna give you the best chance of getting a near to perfect experience? Yes. So it's just about finding where you feel you need it and whether you feel that that output of money is worth what you're gonna get back. If you are interested in some of the best prices at this moment in time for the Nvidia Shield, I will leave them listed below. Any of the deals, for example, I will try and find for you. If you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful, then drop a like below. If you know someone who is also looking at Nvidia Shields and looking to see whether it might be worth them purchasing it, then share it with them because hopefully it will help them as well. If you're new to the channel and want everything tech, daily videos, whether it be Android boxes, streaming, smartphones, laptops, tablets, computers, also do software and app reviews as well, daily content on this channel, then make sure you subscribe and hit that little notification bell next to it so that every time I post a video, you are notified. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. CSPYT, peace out.